Karen Parsons made a name for herself as an actress playing the spoiled rich girl Hillary Banks on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I feel a oneness with you. And now that you're leaving, I just I have the sense that life will be empty, hollow, and meaningless. We'll, we'll peep this, babe. <laughs> See, I have this first-class ticket. Now, we could go down to the airport, trade it for two coach tickets, and you could come back to Philly with me. What you think? Coach? <laughs> this role led to several other acting jobs. Keep watching to find out about her other roles and what she considers to be her greatest career accomplishment outside of acting. Karen Parsons was six when she decided she wanted to be an actress. And when she was 19, she attended an acting workshop where she met an agent who wanted to represent her. Soon after, she landed the role of Hillary. You're here to work hard, straighten out, and learn some good old-fashioned American values. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> Hillary, your cousin Will is here. Hi. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> Hillary was so wildly popular that in 1992, the character was featured in other sitcoms like Blossom. Look at my ankle. It's all swollen. Am I going to have to have, like, ankle liposuction or something? <laughs> no. The swelling will go down in a few days. And out all night. Hi, Hillary. Oh, my God. Also in 1992, she had a role in Class Act. I had fun. So did I. In 1996, the year The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air ended its six-year run, she starred in Lush Life, a sitcom about a struggling, quirky artist and her wealthy roommate, played by Karen Parsons. You're a great artist. What you do is genius. More, more, more. It's incredible, inspired. And just because most people find it confusing and disturbing is no reason for you to be discouraged. You must stop talking now. <laughs> that same year, she appeared in the adventure family drama Gulliver's Travels. I was wondering if the little gentleman might be for sale. My little fella? My little magician? No, oh no. I'm authorized to offer you a considerable sum. Uh, no disrespect, my lady, but no amount of money is going to part the two of us. I have here 500 pieces of gold. Do you want to take them tonight? In 1998, she played a successful copywriter at an ad agency in Mixing Nia. We have a week to pitch the antacid account. Shortly after that, Karen set her sights on her other passion, writing. In 2005, she founded Sweet Blackberry, a nonprofit that brings to life the stories of little-known historical black figures through books and films. But I just wanted to get the stories out of the kids, so I just started writing them and producing them and finding people that could help collaborate with me. In 2019, Karen's first novel, How High the Moon, hit bookshelves. It depicts the challenges of a young biracial girl trying to fit in in the Jim Crow South. She says this book is her greatest career achievement since being cast on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. In 2020, Karen published Flying Free. It's a picture book biography of Bessie Coleman, the first African-American woman and the first Native American woman to earn a pilot's license. From actress to author, Karen Parsons is still contributing to the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching our channel. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe.